Good day. So, yung next topic natin ay harmonic sequences. So, define muna natin siya. Ang harmonic sequence ay isang number sequence na yung reciprocals nung bawat term dun sa sequence na yun, mag-perform sila ng arithmetic sequence. When we say harmonic sequence na hindi natin kinu-qualify kung ano yung terms, yung default na iisipin nung kausap natin would be itong particular harmonic sequence na to. Yung 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth. Kasi if you take the reciprocal of each of these terms, then mag-form siya ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on, which is an arithmetic sequence. But in general, if you have an arithmetic sequence and you take no, the reciprocal of each term in that sequence, then that is what we call, or what we would call, a harmonic sequence. Where did the harmonic sequence get its name? It gets its name from harmonies. And let me demonstrate. Some of you may know that if you have a string and it vibrates, it will vibrate at a certain note, which is the fundamental frequency, like this one. Pero, pag nagpa-vibrate yung isang string, nagkakaroon din siya ng vibrations that are parang fractions of the length of the string. At yun yung harmonies nung bass note natin. So, for example, the string is uh, parang nagpa-vibrate siya na yung length niya is cut in half. So, kalahate. And you have the same note na mas mataas. This one is vibrating at one-third ng string, yung length ng string. This one is vibrating ng one-fourth. So, can it, we are hearing yung different harmonies ng bass note natin. So, you know that musical instruments can generate musical notes. And one reason na nadi-differentiate natin yung sound ng gitara sa, let's say, sa flute is yung kung anong harmonies yung note yung nag exist along with the bass note. So, you might want to ask for more information from your music teacher about this. But that's the way I understand it and how it relates to math. So, yung harmonic sequence, that has to do with yung length nung, nung string. So, this is the whole length. This is half. It's one-third, one-fourth, one-fifth, and so on. So, that's where the harmonic sequence gets its name. And that's it. That's the whole idea of a harmonic sequence. It's just a number sequence na yung reciprocals na form ng isang arithmetic sequence. So, let's take a look at some examples of problems that involve harmonic sequences. Here, we're given that the first and second terms of a harmonic sequence are one-third and one-fifth, respectively, and we want to find the tenth term. And the idea here is that we would take the reciprocal of each term and just solve it as if it was an arithmetic sequence. So let's do it. First, we identify yung given. Yung first term is one-third. The second term is one-fifth. So we let another sequence be the arithmetic sequence that corresponds to this harmonic sequence where all the terms are just the reciprocals of the individual terms of our harmonic sequence. So a sub n is equal to 1 over h sub n. So that means our first term nitong har ng arithmetic sequence sa to ay 3, the second term is 5. And let's just, you know, find the tenth term of this arithmetic sequence. Clearly, from the first term to the second term, the difference is 2. So the common difference is 2. The tenth term is the first term plus 10 minus 1 times natin i-add yung common difference. And substituting our terms, we get the tenth term is equal to the first term 3 plus 9 times natin i-add yung 2 and we get that the tenth term is 21. Ibabalik natin siya dun sa pagiging harmonic sequence niya. Then the tenth term of the harmonic sequence is uh, the reciprocal of the tenth term of the arithmetic sequence or it's 1 over 21. And that's it for this item. Pwede rin hindi tayo nabigyan nung start. Pwede rin hindi tayo nabigyan nung first and second term para medyo mas may challenge. Here we're being asked to find the 16th term if the 6th term is 10 and the 11th term is 18 sa isang harmonic sequence. Same approach dun sa ginawa natin sa previous item. The 6th term is 10, the 11th term is 18 for the harmonic sequence. But co-convert natin siya to an arithmetic sequence by taking the reciprocal. In the corresponding arithmetic sequence, yung 6th term niya is 1 over 10 and the 11th term is 1 over 18. And we use the arithmetic sequence formula na ang 11th term ay the 6th term plus 11 minus 6. So that's just kung ilang steps from 6 to 11 times the common difference. And using that, hanapin natin yung common difference. We'll get 1 over 18 is equal to 1 over 10 plus 5 times d. And we'll get that by manipulation, d is equal to 1 over 18 minus 1 over 10. 
divided by 5, or d is equal to negative 2 over 225. So it's a decreasing arithmetic sequence kasi negative yung common difference. But we're looking for the 16th term. So gamitin natin ulit yung formula natin for the arithmetic sequence to find the 16th term. Ngayong alam na natin yung common difference. And this is the 6th term, 1 over 10, plus 16 minus 6, 10 times the common difference. And we'll just get 1 over 90. And we're not done kasi ang hinahanap natin yung harmonic sequence, wag lang natin kalimutan na i-take yung reciprocal to find the 16th. The 16th term of the arithmetic sequence, which is 90. So yung nabago lang sa kanya from the arithmetic sequences is that we'll have to take the reciprocal before we solve and the reciprocal after natin mag-solve. Of course, meron pa idea ng harmonic means, but it's just really inserting kung ilang means yung hinahanap between the two given numbers in, an, in a harmonic sequence. Here, if we are asked to find two harmonic means between 4 and 8, so we just set it up na may 4, blank, blank, and 8, and identify ko ano yung second and third terms in this harmonic sequence. So the first term is 4, the fourth term is 8. Gawa tayo ng another arithmetic sequence na reciprocal ng mga terms na to. And the first term of that arithmetic sequence is 1 fourth, the fourth term is 1 eighth. Let's use our arithmetic sequence formulas. The fourth term is the first term plus 4 minus 1 times the common difference. And 1 eighth is equal to 1 fourth plus 3 times the common difference. So dahil mas malaki yung fourth term sa first, we expect na negative yung common difference. And the common difference is 1 eighth minus 1 fourth divided by 3. Negative yun, that's negative 1 over 24. Now we need to find the second and the third terms. I-add na lang natin dun sa first term. So the second term is uh, 1 fourth plus the common difference. We get 5 over 24. So, the second term of the harmonic sequence is yung reciprocal nito, which is 24 over 5. The next term is 5 over 24 pa rin. Add natin yung common difference. We get 1 over 6. But we're looking for the harmonic sequence equivalent. So, we take the reciprocal and we get 6. And we're done. Nahanap na natin yung dalawang harmonic means. But let's just check by adding the common difference one more time dun sa 1 over 6. So, 1 over 6 plus negative 1 over 24, we get 1 over 8. Na ang reciprocal niya ay yung fourth term na 8. Just to make sure na nabubuo yung harmonic sequence natin. We just fill in the blanks and that is our final answer. Oh, sige, one more example. We want to insert three harmonic means between 1 half and 1 over 9. We just follow the exact same procedure we did earlier. We identify our given. The first and the fifth terms are 1 half and 1 over 9 respectively. Gawa tayo ng arithmetic sequence by taking the reciprocals of these terms. So the first term of the arith corresponding arithmetic sequence is 2. The fifth term is 9. Then we construct our formulas. The fifth term of the arithmetic sequence is the first term plus 5 minus 1 times natin add yung common difference. And from here, we'll find that our common difference is 7 over 4. So add natin yung 7 over 4 sa 2, which is yung first term ng arithmetic sequence. We get 15 over 4. So yung corresponding na second term sa harmonic sequence is 4 over 15. The next term is 15 over 4 plus 7 over 4, which is 11 over 2. Reciprocal na naman. We get the third term of our harmonic sequence. 11 over 2 plus 7 over 4, we get 29 over 4. Reciprocal ulit, we get the fourth term. Oops, sorry, this should be the fourth term of our harmonic sequence. Then just to check, we add natin yung 7 over 4 sa 29 over 4, we should get yung reciprocal ng 1 over 9 or 9. So it follows the harmonic sequence and our final answer is 4 over 15, 2 over 11, and 4 over 29 para mabuo yung harmonic means nitong dalawang terms na to. So that's it muna for our topic on harmonic sequences. Thank you very much and see you sa next video lesson natin.